December 6 always impacts me personally. I had a beautiful sister who passed away in 2009. She lived for years in an abusive relationship that wore her down, it wore down her confidence, her spirit, and her light. She did get the courage to leave, but still experienced abusive phone calls and harassment. I think about her every day, but the memory is particularly poignant on December 6, when I also remember the women who were killed because of their gender. That day, in 1989, a gunman walked in to the Montreal School to target women who were studying engineering. In 20 minutes, he shot or stabbed 27 people, and he killed 14 women. This tragedy was a hideous hate crime, and in its wake, it left an ever-growing movement to bring an end to gender-based violence and gender bias and the mistreatment of women due to their gender. In 1991, the Canadian Parliament formally recognized December 6 as a National Day of Remembrance and Action on Violence Against Women. Sadly, there are still many women in situations like my sister experienced. We need to recognize that violence against women is happening here. It's an issue in our communities and on our campuses. Combating this epidemic of violence against women requires sustained effort and a particular focus on education and support. At Memorial University of Newfoundland and Labrador, we acknowledge this day because it's important to remember. It's important to remember these women. It is important to be aware that this hate still lives in our society. And for me, on December 6th, it's important to celebrate the life of my sister and remember her. Thank you. 32 years ago today, an unthinkable horror occurred at L'Ecole Polytechnique in Montreal. 14 women were murdered and 14 more injured. This was a hateful act of gender-based violence that shocks our country still to this day. On this National Day of Remembrance and Action on Violence Against Women, we remember and honor the 14 women and the Newfoundland and Labrador women whose lives have been taken due to gender-based violence. One victim of violence in our province is one too many. I commend the ongoing collaboration between the provincial government departments and our community partners as they continue to work together to prevent and end gender-based violence. As Premier, I'm committed to promoting a healthy, thriving Newfoundland and Labrador. Gender-based violence will not be tolerated here. December 6th, 1989, a date that is forever etched in the history of this country. 14 women were gunned down at Ecole Polytechnique, 12 engineering students, one nurse, and one university employee were murdered because they were women. Let me repeat, because they were women. This horrific tragedy is a chilling example of a devastating act of violence against women. 32 years later, I wish I could say such acts of gender-based violence are uncommon, but sadly, we know that is not true. This evening is about honoring the memory of beloved women and girls who have lost their lives through horrific acts of violence. This evening is also about standing in solidarity to send a strong and clear message that violence against women and girls in our province must not be tolerated. The rate at which women and girls experience violence in our province and across our country is much too high, and it must stop. But for this to happen, we need to work together to challenge the root cause of gender-based violence at every opportunity and support victims, their families, and our communities. As a government, we are committed to finding long-term systemic solutions to end gender-based violence. We recognize that it will take time to achieve this systemic change and that it can only be achieved by addressing inequalities in all its forms. Tonight, I affirm government's commitment and my personal commitment to work together to prevent gender-based violence and establish equality for women and gender diverse people free from fear and harm. Everyone has the right to live, work and play without fear of violence. Thank you. Welcome, I'm Greg Natterer, the Dean of the Faculty of Engineering and Applied Science at Memorial University. And on behalf of the faculty, I'd like to thank you for coming here to remember the tragic shooting event 
at Ecole Polytechnique in Montreal in 1989. I have friends at Ecole Polytechnique who were junior engineering assistant professors back in 1989 when this occurred, and they've told me firsthand the horror of the experience. In addition to those who were killed, the survivors and families suffered greatly. Other students committed suicide or suffered physically, financially, or psychologically. The male survivors expressed great remorse for not intervening to distract and stop the shooter when he separated the men and women. This day every year, communities consider actions to eliminate all forms of violence against women and girls. The statistics are disturbing. More than 70 of the victims of domestic homicide are women. Around 300 women and their children flee a violent household every day in Canada. We must not be silent. We must take action. Although we can't bring back the women who were lost in Montreal on that day, we should reflect on these crimes against women and continue working to stop all forms of violence against women. So let's reflect tonight on those 14 women whose lives were cut too short. These women were unable to finish their engineering degrees. They would have contributed so much to society as engineers. We will never forget them. Thank you for attending. Geneviève Bergeron. Helen Colgan. Natalie Croto Maurice Lagagnier Maurice Leclerc Anne Marie LeMay, Barbara Daniel, Sonia Peltier. Anne Marie Edward Michelle Richard Maud Avarnik Annie Saint Arnaud Barbara Klutznik Vidavich Annie Turkat Hello everyone. I would like to acknowledge the important work of the Sexual Harassment Office, the work they do across all of our campuses in helping to prevent sexual harassment and sexual violence. They do this through education, consultation, and training. If you or somebody you know has experienced sexual harassment or violence in any form, there are many supports and services available to you through the Sexual Harassment Office and the Student Wellness and Counseling Center. 
At Memorial University, we are dedicated towards making all of our campuses welcoming, safe, and harassment-free. Hello, I'm Emily Woolley, Manager of Strategy, Planning, and Policy with the Department of Human Resources. On this, the National Day of Remembrance and Action of Violence Against Women, the Department of Human Resources is rejuvenated and committed in our efforts to make working conditions fairer, safer, and more respectful. At Memorial, we are committed to inclusion and equity. A few months ago, Memorial shared Transforming Our Horizons, the university's new strategic plan for the next five years. Within this plan, our commitment to equity, diversity, inclusion, and anti-racism is intentional and foundational to our success in our workplace. Also at the university, we encourage a working environment without harassment. We require all of our employees to complete mandatory workplace violence prevention training, and we encourage a working environment that is free of barriers for all women and those with diverse gender identities. In dedication to the women we are here tonight to honor, Human Resources is re-energized and again committed to working with all areas of the university to embrace inclusiveness and diversity and support a respectful and unified workplace. Violence against Indigenous women and girls is a national tragedy. From 1980 to 2012, the RCMP have recorded over 1,000 cases of missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls, or MMIWG, in Canada. The Sovereign Bodies Institute database counts 1,724 confirmed cases of MMIWG in Canada. Indigenous women and girls are 12 times more likely to be murdered or go missing than our non-Indigenous sisters. There are 231 calls to action in the MMIWG report. I urge you to review them and implement them where able. Let's stop gendered violence once and for all. Hi there, my name is Hilary Hennessy and I'm the Executive Director of External Affairs, Communications and Research at Month Students Union. On behalf of our organization, I just wanted to share that we are very committed to tackling gender-based violence on an institutional level in ways that include raising awareness of this act of violence and providing education around how to prevent it through our campaign initiatives and providing students with proper advocacy support such as one free hour of legal aid. If you are in need of advocacy support at this time, please do not hesitate to contact John at advocacy at mansu.ca. My name is Shushmita Barman and I'm the Sexual Harassment Board representative of the Graduate Students Union. The union would like to share its heartfelt condolences towards the glorious memory of 14 women who lost their lives on December 6, 1989. Through my position, I am honored to be providing services to my fellow graduate students against any sexual harassment and any kind of gender-based violence. I, on behalf of GSU, would like to applaud the Man Sexual Harassment Office and the Department of Gender Studies for organizing this virtual vigil that upholds solidarity and justice for all women. Hi, I am Dr. Vicki Hallett. On behalf of Memorial University's Faculty Association, I'd like to dedicate our work with the Sexual Harassment Board to the 14 women murdered at L'Ecole Polytechnique on December 6, 1989. I'd also like to remind everyone that putting an end to gendered violence is a responsibility we all share. The Grenfell Campus Student Union is dedicated to ending the violence against women. We do this through our Challenge Sexism campaign as well as through our Consent is Mandatory campaign. We also provide students with the opportunity to join our Women's Caucus for those who identify as a woman or any marginalized gender. This is a space for folks to get together to discuss the concerns that are relevant to them and we listen to their voices and help advocate to ensure that our community is safe for them to ensure that no woman or marginalized gender or any individual has to face violence again. The Canadian Federation of Students of Newfoundland and Labrador would like to remember and celebrate the memory of the 14 women who lost their lives on this day 32 years ago. CFSNL stands united against all forms of violence. Gender-based violence remains an issue in our institutions and we must stand together and work towards the elimination of gender-based violence by empowering and creating space for women and folks with marginalized genders and to continue to fight for justice for the missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls.
Hello everyone, my name is Valerie Bird, our Executive Director of Violence Prevention here on Avalon East. We would like to dedicate our new program, which was launched this week, Navigating New Norms of Masculinity. We are very excited about this program. Programs seldom address those at highest risk of pep- perpetrating gender-based violence. We are surrounded by messages which support and enforce traditional male gender roles that expects boys and men to show few emotions and assert their dominance over those society see as powerless or without status. We would like to dedicate this to all missing and murdered women and girls in our province with the hopes that things will get better. Education and awareness are key. The Office to Advance Women Apprentices remembers the 14 young women that were tragically killed in the 1989 Montreal Massacre. We are committed to creating awareness to end gender-based violence and recognize today as a National Day of Remembrance and Action on Violence Against Women. Educate yourself and your communities. Take action for a safer and more inclusive future. At the Newfoundland and Labrador Sexual Assault Crisis and Prevention Center, we join us in expressing our sadness at the loss of vital individuals robbed of opportunities to contribute to the communities by the 14 candles in front of us. Through a violent act of misogyny, these young women are gone too soon. At this time, we encourage everyone to remember loved ones, friends, acquaintances lost through violence by saying their names aloud. Barbara Daniel was a 22-year-old student who was to graduate at the end of the year with a degree in mechanical engineering. We remember Barbara Daniel and her goals in life by encouraging young females to pursue education and careers in science and engineering. Since 1990, YSEP, along with its partners and sponsors, has placed over 1,000 students from across Newfoundland and Labrador in research positions in science and engineering. I, Claire Graves, Program Administrator of Women in Science and Engineering, am honored to be dedicating the work of the summer program in the memory of Barbara Danielle. On December 6th is the 32nd anniversary of the death of 14 women at an engineering school in Montreal. As a National Day of Remembrance and Action on Violence Against Women, and on behalf of the Federation of Labour for Newfoundland and Labrador, let us come together to honor and appreciate these women and all women who have lost their lives because of violence. Thank you. The Royal Newfoundland Constabulary remembers the 14 women lost to an act of gender-based violence over 30 years ago and the impact it had on our nation. We honor them and all those who have lost their lives to gender-based violence. With our dedication to supporting victims and survivors, promoting their safety and well-being. With our focus on accountability for perpetrators of violence and how we serve our communities each and every day, we will continue our efforts to take action against gender-based violence. As a sexual harassment advisor at Memorial University, I would like to thank you for taking time this evening to honor and remember the women who were brutally murdered solely because they were women. I would also like to take a moment to honor the missing and murdered women and girls of Newfoundland and Labrador. As we conclude this evening, I would ask that you take a moment to reflect and recommit to the vital changes in our personal lives and in our society that need to happen in order to end all forms of violence against women. And to make a personal pledge silently to yourself or to share with us on the pledge cards available. Thank you.